our hearts broke about 30 minutes ago when we got the news that a six year old boy was fatally shot while driving in the back seat of his mother's vehicle. His mother was driving the car. We'll show you footage of what that vehicle looks like in just a second. But first, we want to check in live with CHP this late morning hour. This is Florentino Oliveira. And for the folks who are watching right now, what is it that you're looking out for? We're looking for a white sedan. If you were traveling northbound 55 in the city of Orange between 755 this morning and 815, especially if your vehicle has a dash cam, we want, we want to see that video and see what we can see because it was a white sedan that we're looking for. Viewers saw images of what was been described as a gray colored sedan, a Chevy sedan. Have you spoken to the, the mother who was driving that vehicle? Our investigators are talking to her. We're trying to get as much information as we can. Um, it was a silver Chevrolet sedan. You mentioned it was some sort of a, a road rage incident. So what, what exactly happened? So it was an isolated road rage incident between the mom and another driver from a white sedan. Not sure if there were any passengers in that white sedan, but apparently there was a shot fired from that sedan into the silver car. And unfortunately, the child that was seated in the right rear seat was struck. Do we know what the family was doing? Was the boy on his way to school? What, what are the circumstances we don't around have that information yet, but they were traveling 55 northbound, and unfortunately, the boy was struck, transported to the hospital, and he, he was pronounced deceased at the hospital. What can you tell us about the freeway? Is it going to be closed down for quite some time? We're going to be opening up the freeway in about five minutes. Five minutes, mm -hmm. okay. On that note, what we're going to do, we thank you for your time of this morning, uh, Officer. Uh, Glenn and Lou, let's toss it up to Mark Kona, who is live in Sky 5 HD. And Mark, you just heard the news right there, a reopening here in about five minutes.